the chairman of IBC. Uh, before I speak, I would like to apologize for my voice because I've been in the mountain for almost eight days. I was not even bitten by a mosquito. No stone was thrown against me, and there was no heckling. Uh, Your Excellencies, uh, the European Commission, the UNDP, and the UN, the UK High Commissioner, the American Embassy present, and all the ambassadors and protocols observed, I would like to take this opportunity to thank you and to thank you very much for listening to a man who is so much ragged. A lot of people think that I'm crazy, but the Almighty God created me this way. <laughs> I'll also take this opportunity to thank the, um, the British High Commission and the Americans who are present here for having given me an opportunity in exile for those many years that I stayed in UK and the US and for those many years that I got the support from the British people as well as the American people and for those many years that I stayed in those countries as a refugee I would particularly take this opportunity to thank the universities that I went to in the UK starting from the University of Wolverhampton where I did my bachelor's degree the University of London School of Oriental and African Studies where I did my first master's the University of Warwick, where I did a master's. The University of Westminster, where I did my legal practice course. And other universities to follow, like Babek and what have you. I also want to thank the Americans for allowing me to work very hard to join the University of Baltimore, where I did a master's of law in the laws of the US. Why am I taking this unconventional approach while addressing men and women of honor? The point that I'm trying to make here is that it has come to the realization of the many who may not have done their conjugal research that I am a British citizen. I wish I was. Because Great Britain is a country that has really motivated most of us and African leaders, including the late Muse Jomo Kenyatta, the late Kwame Nkrumah, to bring realization of realities and democracy in this part of the world. I'm a permanent resident in the UK and I'm also a permanent resident in the US. So notwithstanding, I made that very clear to those who have been speculating that I'm a British citizen. And I think I will be one day, who knows?